what's going on guys it's your boy jesse d123 back with another video and in today's video we're going to show you guys the fastest way to rank up your cards and get them to that next parallel level guys so click that like button if you guys are excited already i'm going to show you guys what you guys need to do what you guys need to avoid and everything in this video this is the fastest way to get these done as you guys can see right here on your screen we already have pedro martinez parallel number one we're damn near on the road to parallel number two at 794 parallel xp guys i'm telling you guys this is no cap this is all real right here all right so if you guys um check out my last videos i've just been playing conquest right now i've been getting the conquest map out for you guys and that's why i've been using this pedro martinez so now let's take a look at what what's on our screen so in order to rank up your card um you need to play games uh, rank up your parallel i mean you need to play games right so in online games and rank seasons events and battle royale you get once 1.5 times parallel xp now i i personally would say avoid that because for these reasons now in rank seasons you're only going to be able to use them once and then his energy is going to deplete and then you got to rank them back up right you got to have them in your starting lineup excuse me in your starting pitcher rotation and play more rank seasons games and let his energy get back up that's just not efficient so i say avoid that events now you could cheese events a little bit you could just freaking play one event game reset play one event game reset and just keep using pedro martinez but you do got to remember you are playing on all-star difficulty and you're playing online so you're playing against somebody um so if you if you don't want to play online then you can always hop on freaking um play versus cpu but battle royale let's be real that's probably never going to happen because they're probably not going to bless you with a pedro martinez and this is not just strictly to pedro martinez this is to any card you want to freaking rank up in the parallels because again parallels are for every single card in the game if you guys didn't know and right now i'm just using pedro martinez as an example because he's the only card right now i have um parallel leveled up we're close to getting my josh donaldson one spoiler alert if you guys have not watched the pack opening please go watch that um but yeah so this is why i truly do believe you should play offline mode because and it's the fastest way to get it even though you get 0.5 um less times parallel xp i still believe this is the most fast and efficient way and here's why the biggest reason why i say play offline versus play online is because you're not playing anybody you can always set the difficulty especially if you play against cpu you can set the difficulty to rookie which means it's going to be easier to strike them out and as you guys can see right there earn parallel xp how many do we get for freaking a strike we get five per each strikeout so imagine you get 10 strikeouts that's 50 parallel xp just like that and remember we're playing three inning games you can even run five inning you can run whatever amount of inning games you can or one i should say um, so you get 20 parallel xp for each inning pedro pitches for in this example you get freaking 10 parallel xp for each win he gets and freaking uh, if he goes a complete game you get 10 so it's just it just adds up man and i truly do believe this is the most efficient way and the fastest way to make up your parallels now you can do it in conquest which i've been doing it in um you can play against cpu or you can do extra innings now play versus cpu might be the way because you can initially set your difficulty right when you go into the game with conquest it's a little different you got to have like you know you got to have more um fans than them to freaking decrease the difficulty so if you know you know but i highly suggest you guys um stick to play versus cpu set it on rookie and if especially if you guys are going for a hitter let's take a look at a hitter stats real quick so for example this josh donaldson i have right let's go to the parallel so look how much 20 parallel xp for every home run bro and you're playing on rookie remember that so that means the pci so all my new people out there the pci is that big old bubble it's gonna be fatter the the lower the difficulty the fatter that's gonna be and the easier it's gonna be to get a hit so if you can even get a double that's 10 you get 20 that's a triple 20 that's a home run that's, it's crazy bro it's super easy to do this and mind you i've just been using these cards on on playing conquest games and look where i'm at i'm already gonna be parallel level one for josh donaldson and i'm already gonna i'm working my way to parallel level two for pedro martinez now one last thing i want to mention to you guys about getting through your games faster so remember i told you as you guys can see on your screen right now a double gives you 10 parallel xp a triple gives you 20. so let's say you hit a single right and you try to stretch it to a double now the faster you get out the faster you can get through games right so if you get a single always run the second base just so you can get tagged out it will always count as a single it's still a hit even if you get tagged out at second and sometimes you might even get lucky and get a double if they mark it as that though but like i said so that's another fast efficient way to get through games is whenever you get a hit say it's an automatic double just run the third get out it's going to be counted as a double so you're going to get your 10 parallel xp 
Um, but it's just a fast, more efficient way to get through games. And obviously, the faster you can get through games, the more games you can get in and the more parallel XP you can get. But yeah, guys, so hopefully this video helped you guys out. Drop a like if it did, man. If you guys have any questions, please drop a comment. Do not hesitate. My Twitter is always linked in the description as well. You can click that. Shoot me a DM on Twitter. I will always respond to you guys. All comments I respond to. I promise you that. If you guys have any questions, like I said, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, and yeah, guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, man. Drop a like if you guys did and drop a like if this helped you out, man, because I think this is a very efficient way that people don't know about yet because this game is super early. It's day two of early release, not even public release yet. You feel me? But yeah, guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, man. Drop a like if you guys haven't already and subscribe, guys. We're almost at a thousand subs. If you guys are not subbed yet, please consider doing so, man. I want you guys to join the team now because we're not going to stop, man. I'm telling you three videos a day for a minute for, for a minute, man. Okay, so I promise you three videos a day. I'm sticking to that. Let's get to it, man. But yeah, guys, so that's me for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you guys did. It's Spirit Boy, Jesse D123. And I'm out.